you may not think of uh, a narc narcotics special agent and then the international drug smuggler, smuggler that he arrested would become best friends. That happened right here in Northwest Florida some years ago. Channel 3's Renee Beninati is live in the newsroom with more on that story. Renee. Bob, retired FDLE agent Ed Hudson's life changed when he arrested a crop duster pilot and drug smuggler Freddie Crow back in the 90s. Tonight, they shared their unique story. Ed Hudson first heard the name Freddie Crow when he became a century police officer in 1980. And it didn't take me long to learn about it. Crow was known as a daredevil and crop duster pilot in this quiet town. But that's not all. All that thrill and excitement sort of funneled into a drug smuggling career. Crow transported 1,000 pound loads of marijuana from Belize flying in a stolen Cessna. He used his skills as a crop duster to evade police. In order to get back into the country, they had to fly so low over the waves of the Gulf of Mexico to get under the radar that the salt would collect on their windshield from the sea spray. During this time, Hudson worked his way up the ranks, becoming a FDLE narcotic special agent. In 1990, Crow and his partner in crime got busted, and Hudson was part of the team to take them down. Crow was facing a life sentence, but instead took a deal to only spend 10 years behind bars and become an informant. When he went to get out of the car, he asked me if it'd be okay if he called me from prison, and I said sure. That'd be fine. Hudson became his handler. The two kept in touch as Crow worked to turn his life around behind bars, finding God. Their friendship didn't stop there. In 1999, Crow was released from prison and moved back to Century. He fought to have his rights restored and won, started a business, and married his wife Sandra. And that's when my poor mother liked to have a literal heart attack. I had the F, which stood for Freddie. He wore an S around his neck the whole time we were dating, and I just never took it off. Just as Crow's life was turning around, he was diagnosed with terminal cancer in 2013. The two grew even closer, spending their time together fishing to praying together while Crow was on his deathbed. Still is. It was a loss. It was, it was the loss of a good friend. On February 27, 2016, Crow passed away. Hudson tells me he still feels the pain today, but is thankful God brought the pair together. Freddie had a big, huge grin, and I think he's probably got that going on right now. Hudson wrote his story into a book called As the Crow Flies, The Redemption of an International Drug Smuggler. He tells me he wanted to shed light on their unique friendship and the transformation Crow made. We'll share where you can buy it on our website at WEARTV.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Renee Beninati, Channel 3 News.